How's it going guys? So today we're going to be talking about the human classes from Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game. So guys, as the humans, you're able to play as a biker, a cop, a punk, a redneck, or a teenager. Each of these classes have their own special abilities and perks, which we'll go into right now. Starting out here with the biker class, he is characterized as strong and prepared to fight. However, he is also loud and slow. Now it says that you are the baddest of the bad and everyone typically hates how brash you are. However, you are not the fastest runner, but your strength lets you carry more and hit harder than anyone else in town. If one of those clowns gets near you, well, you'll just have to knock their block off. So what we get here is that the biker is strong, so that means he can carry more items, and he can hit very hard, so uh, probably does more melee damage is what that's saying. Next we have the cop. The cop's characteristics are perceptive, good with guns, unlucky, and low stamina. It says here that being a cop in a small town isn't the action-packed career you imagined. Years of yelling at skateboarders and writing parking tickets leaves you wanting for a piece of action. But they'll see, no one is going to make a clown out of you, especially these clowns. So, you can see they use a lot of references from the movie here. Based off his characteristics, he's obviously good with weapons. I'm not sure how this will affect other human classes, because other human classes can use weapons. So, maybe there's like an accuracy buff or reload speed thing for the cop, but we, we don't know yet. We're just going to have to wait and see. So it also says that the cop is perceptive, which could mean that maybe he can spot things easier that other human classes usually cannot. And it also says that he has cons, such as being unlucky, which we'll, I guess we'll have to see what that is. And low stamina, which could be a big deal in, in a game like this. Now onto the punks. So it says here that the punks have high stamina and they're good against obstacles. However, they're slow to recover. Armed with tattoos, cheap beer, and a slightly above average knowledge of the political machine, you are a force to be slightly concerned about. Your fighting ability is only exceeded by your running ability, probably from years of evading officer hardass in your younger days. Alright, so based off the characteristics here, this is probably going to be one of the, the faster classes of the humans. And it says good against obstacles. Now we know that Spiky, the clown class, is able to vault over obstacles, so maybe the punk has a similar ability. However, it does say slow to recover, so maybe there is a period after vaulting that makes you like stop for a second or something. This is all just coming from speculation, it's just assumptions. But maybe that's that's the, uh, the mechanic there that's being hit at. Up next we got the redneck. Now it says here that the rednecks are good at fixing stuff and they have the biggest inventory size. However, they have poor observation skills. And it says, ever since Uncle Jim Bob told you about being abducted in 84, you vowed to never let it happen again to another soul. Something about seeing him on an inflatable donut makes you weep. Now it's time to make good on that promise. Grab your trusty shotgun and aim for those clowns red nose. So based off the characteristics here, it says that the rednecks are good at fixing stuff. So this is implying that there's things that the humans are going to have to fix. Or maybe even build stuff, I'm not sure. Um, it does say that they have the biggest inventory size, so that's a good thing to note. Uh, because I know there's going to be looting, a lot of looting in the game. Um, however, they have poor observation skills. So this might be that they can't sense traps or something like that. Um, this is all assumptions, it doesn't have any clear explanation for what that is exactly. But maybe there's um, some big downsides as well. Now the last class we have here is the teen. So it says the teenagers are nimble, stealthy, however they have low health and small inventory size. Kids these days, you can't throw or take a punch, you have too much energy, and are always sneaking around. But while you may be everything the older generations hate, you've got exactly what it takes to keep the Crescent Cove safe from the clown invasion. Okay, so based off of these characteristics, it says the teen is nimble, which means just agile, they, they're quick and they'll light on their feet, so it's probably one of those faster classes as well. Uh, probably not faster than the punk, but fast. And then it also says that they're stealthy, so they can sneak around. Uh, maybe they make less noise with their footsteps and um, things like that. Uh, however, their downside is that they have low health, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how the health is for the rest of the classes, but this is the only one that said low health specifically. And they have small inventory size, which 
implies that maybe their objective is probably to be like sneaking around, probably going into the ship and doing things that the other louder classes would probably get easily caught doing. One thing I want to point out is that the players will have the choice to pick which side they prefer. So if they want to be the clowns, they can select that as a preferred uh, team or they can select the humans. However, it is not guaranteed that you will be on that team. It is it's just a preference and if the game can it will put you as a team if not um, it will just put you to whatever needs to be filled in all right so now we're gonna move on to the human customization so it says here you can change your skin tone determine your body type and select your favorite face design it also says it has a, a virtual closet to pick class based clothes and you can also have different hairstyles they're even giving us the option to change our animation so they're giving us a lot of ways to personalize our character it says here, humans walk, run, crouch, and crawl through the world in their quest to survive the cloud invasion. The appearance of the humans was carefully researched to be a catch-all of the different types of people we see in the movie, and we even drew on some of our favorite late 80s horror flicks for additional ideas to mix things up. Knowing that we'd have a nice avatar customization system, we cast a wider net in our research to ensure we have more variety for player desires. It says here that they use classics like Poltergeist, Friday the 13th, Monster Squad, Return of the Living Dead, and Evil Dead uh, for the character clothing and styles. Alright guys, so that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next Killer Clowns video. See ya.